So I guess we can get started. First of all, congratulations on your engagement. How are you feeling about all of this? Thank you so much. I'm really excited. We're just loving life right now. And it's really special that we can actually finally, you know, let the whole world know that we're engaged. And you've got to spill the details. How did the whole proposal go down? Well, Georgie was really surprising because I, you know, we're, we were in quarantine and we were with each other all the time. So I was pretty shocked. I didn't know at all because, you know, we we're together all the time. So I was like thinking, how the heck is this happening right now? Like, you know, how and we talked about like life in the future, you know, over, you know, over time, but I didn't expect it right then and there. So it was a beautiful moment. So it was something I'll always cherish. And you know, I'm, I'm sorry, keep going. Yeah, I mean, it was very difficult for me to plan all this all little details because we still was um during the quarantine um always be around each other so it's very hard to plan something and to keep it secret without she find out yeah. because all day we together uh we seeing each other phone and everything what i'm doing my phone so yeah. it was so hard to do research and plan everything oh, yeah. it was a beautiful georgie secret that's for sure <laughs> but in the end, i make it happen and keep the secret yeah and do you feel like um, being together during quarantine really brought you closer and like made you realize that you were the perfect match? Because I feel like I hear from a lot of couples, it's make it or break it. Either you yeah. end up broken up or you know that this is like your soulmate. Yeah, honestly, like for us, I feel like being, you know, in a relationship, and it was a new relationship. We met obviously in person during the Super Bowl around that time and things were flowing. And then all of a sudden, boom, this pandemic happened and we really, didn't want to give up on our relationship. We didn't know what was going to happen, you know, in general, just with, with the world and our relationship. We didn't know when we were going to be able to see each other again. So we just really wanted to make it happen where we could be closer together, where there's a sense of home and safety. And from there on, you know, we sacrificed, we took that risk because if you, if you don't take those kind of risks in a relationship or in life, then you don't know the outcome. So it was worth it for sure for, for both of us. Yeah, during the quarantine, I can say it's the best time to live with someone. You'll to, know sooner than later. <laughs> to know each other better because yeah. uh, until you don't move to live together and spend time together yeah. with each other and get comfortable with each other, right. you don't know the true person. Yes. So. And for us, it was like, you know, the transition from my dad's house to the apartment, it was two weeks. So it was a two-week quarantine, which was keeping my family, my kids, and my family safe because he was coming from out of state. And from there, it was like, you know, I go back and forth. So it's just like a place where we can have like another little second safe haven. So for, it was like a, just another added place to expand places that we can go during this pandemic, you know? So in that sense, it was, everybody was cool with that idea. And, uh, we made it happen. He had a place to stay and I was able to go back and forth once we knew we were a okay. And during that time, knowing more about each other, that's part of the journey. And that's what I loved about it. Cause we really got to dive in deep sooner than later, you know, and really got to know each other, you know, the good, the bad, the ugly in a short period of time. So we don't waste each other's time, you know, and we realized whatever, you know, what doesn't hurt you makes you stronger. And from there, you know, we've only grown from any pain or any hurt or any hardships we've had to go through, but most of, most of the time, it was a blessing and, and very beautiful. And if you can't survive in yeah. during the quarantine together, I guess you're good for each other for yeah. the rest of your life. Yeah, I it feel like sign for us. I feel like it really, really shows people's true colors. And I feel like yep. it's a good test to show if you guys are meant to be together. So I'm so, yeah. so happy for you both. Um, Thank you. And I have to ask, are fans going to get to be able to see the proposal on your show? Uh, right. You guys will have to definitely see what happens on this coming Sunday's episode and, um, you know, get surprised just like I did. So <laughs> I look forward to it too. And then Georgie, how did you pick out the ring? Did Darcy ever drop any hints of what kind of ring that she preferred? Uh, it was very hard for me to pick up the ring because- He knows uh, my style. I know her <laughs> style. And um, during the time it was still, everything shut down, it was quarantine. I don't have time to go to different stores, to the mall and how I say always we together. And uh, I don't have the option to go look and pick up the best ring. And um, I just pick up a ring and uh, I know um, she deserves much better. And maybe it's coming up great very soon because she deserves much better. Aww. But uh, it was really hard to during the quarantine and especially when always we're around each other to yeah. find, you know, you don't have no options. So I just... Yeah. It was from his heart and that's all that mattered. And I think it's a beautiful ring. 
that, you know, suits us, you know, but if he ever wants to upgrade, that's fine too. <laughs> You know, well, so I thought you did a great job. I thought it was beautiful. Yeah, I saw the photos. Very of beautiful. It. Yeah. Um, yeah. And do you From have any heart. idea of when the wedding is going to be? Have you started planning that or are you just kind of yeah. enjoying being engaged? Uh, we're really just enjoying the time of our engagement because we actually can, you know, vocalize it a little bit more and celebrate with family and loved ones and friends without having it to keep it on the DL. Um, you know, or spoiler and stuff, but we're, we're living it up. We're enjoying our time here in New York and family. Um, and we've talked about, you know, the future and when we possibly potentially want it. I definitely want his family involved. So because of the pandemic, still, you know, it's still a hard time. So we want everybody to be there, the ones that mean the most, family and close friends. Yeah, but definitely talk. near the water, for yeah. sure. Somewhere mm -hmm. nice and warm. We'll talk about some options and uh, discuss, but uh, we need to make decision very soon, I guess, yeah. to pick up the right date. And uh, mm -hmm. But for sure, going to yeah. be at the beach. So Somewhere near the water, definitely. Um, with our loved ones and friends. I guess everybody yeah. gonna find some very soon. Yeah. What is so, our so we're wanting a beach wedding. Is, is beach what I'm wedding. Um, we're thinking of a lot of beautiful romantic options. Miami, LA, maybe Hawaii, who knows? Maybe twinning it up somehow because Stacy kind of feels a little jipped that she wasn't able to do her romantic wedding that she wanted up near the water as well. So, you know, we're, we're, we're talking, we're all talking together amongst ourselves and separately to see what we both, we all want. And we meet um, in the beach. We get engaged in the beach, True. so of course we need to get married in the beach, so it's part of our journey, the beach <laughs> and the ocean. <laughs> and would you be down for a televised wedding? Would, would that be something you'd be interested in? Because I know fans would definitely want to watch. Yeah, I think that would be a beautiful experience. I think just to share a journey with the rest of the world has been a blessing nonetheless. And, you know, to divide love during a pandemic and go through all the obstacles we've had to go through and still stay strong is something I think inspiring and to have it televised, just getting married for everybody to see would be a dream come true. And then Darcy, everyone knows that you have a very, you're very glamorous. You have really amazing style. What do you think of when you imagine your perfect dream dress? I definitely love crystal sparkle, uh, something very long, like a long train, very elegant, something sexy, a little bit form-fitting. I might get two dresses, I'm thinking, one for the ceremony and then for the reception. And, you know, I know Stacey's interested in doing, you know, a twinny thing too. I don't know, maybe it just depends if we're doing something separate. There's a lot of options that we're thinking of, but um, for me, I want definitely something form-fitting, maybe mermaid style, long train, sparkly, glam, and 100% Darcy. So it's, I'll definitely bring it, that's for sure. Well, I'm excited to see I'm excited to see it because I feel like you always have the best fashion. Oh, um, thank you. And then how did you guys know that you were the perfect match for each other? When Georgie and I met, like in um, February for the Super Bowl, it was really, really spellbounding for me. You know, I feel like I mean, even before that, we talked for yes, a year we and we really yeah. um, we feel the connection. Even before we meet, we talk for a year and we feel the connection. Where are we talking? We're like to twins. Each other. It's and, really crazy. Um, they are soulmates. So yeah. we have a very strong connection even before we meet and after we meet. Uh, like the connection was growing and growing and growing. And we meet to live together yeah. in quarantine. There's not a lot of things so that are totally different about us. I mean, you know, obviously he's a man, I'm a woman, and you know, we have some differences, but we have a lot of similarities too. And I think that attracted us right away to each other. And a lot of our thoughts are very similar. Kind of like how I'm a twin. Stacey and I kind of do things in tandem and it just it just flows naturally with him and I and it's it's a very unique bond. I've never had a relationship like this before, and it's almost like you know, yeah, you know, so if one of us gets a little quiet, you still kind of subconsciously know what they're thinking or feeling. That's the best like, way the I can most, describe it. So it makes you feel like you're really close from like your soul. And you the most I mean? each other, it's uh, always, uh, we care about each other, always there yeah. for each other and um, we're best friends. So I yeah. think that's the most important too. Regardless of the, you know, to be one friend, the ups and downs. I think we're strong enough to make it through whatever it takes. Yeah, yeah there's I feel definitely like an attraction there. I yeah. feel like when you know, you know, so yeah, yeah, it's one of those. Yeah. Um, and then how did your daughters react when they found out the exciting news? Yeah, Anika and Aspen, they're such sweethearts. I love them. They really are happy for our relationship and where we're at, you know, they see us as a strong couple and they smile. They're excited for it. 
and they know I'm happy, so they're happy. And um, you know, they're they're supporting us 100. percent And I'm happy that they feel happy because they come first, and he knows that. So as long as they're good, I'm good. You know, I would never have done anything if they didn't feel like comfortable about it. Even with the quarantine, it was something they were like, "Yeah, mom, go for it. You deserve that." You know, and it was two weeks time, so everybody was safe. You know, when we had to meet in person in Connecticut, and um, you know, for for us, it's only made our family structure stronger, you know, and they can, they're very open with him too, you know, and he, we talk about all stuff, everything, we're very all open about school, friends, anything that life brings us, you know, we've, we're very real with each other and that's, that's what's the most important in family first and foremost. And for me, I haven't met his family in person yet, just over the phone, but I already feel a closeness and a deep bond with them. And I'm really excited to meet them in the near future, hopefully, so. That's exciting. And I, also, I know that a lot of people have been invested in your journey from the beginning to finding love, seeing yeah. all your, your past relationships on 90 Day Fiance. Yeah. One thing that people have really appreciated about you is that you've never closed off your heart to love. Yeah. Um, how has it been seeing messages of support from fans online during this whole journey of yours? Wow. You know, I feel like there's been like a whole like 360 because there's a lot of hating. There's still a lot of hating going on, but I ignore that part. I just really tune into the positivity and the fact that we're all here for each other and inspiring one another. You know, a lot of people have had uh, followed my journey for a long time and I get a lot of messages of support and love. And I just want them to know that I'm there to support and love them as well because their journey has been similar. You know, I get a lot of messages saying that, you know, wow, I see myself through you and thank you for staying strong because it's made me a stronger person too. So I am so grateful for each and every person that has, you know, come my way and, said beautiful things and just, you know, even said, thank you. I'm here to thank them because if I wouldn't be here, if it wasn't for all those people as well, you know, and I'm staying strong for all of us. Trust me. Yeah. And what was your sister Stacy's reaction when she found out about your engagement? She cried. Oh my God. I was like, finally, finally someone else is crying. <laughs> she was so happy. She felt it. It was like, a twin bond that we've always shared that's very close and she was just very happy that finally i got what i've dreamt of and she knew it was right it was so heartfelt she you'll, you'll the tears were were coming and it was a beautiful moment it made me cry we all got teary-eyed 